Hello, welcome to another fantasy football tournament series number 62. This is the Dutch Caribbean Cup. This is continuing on with the um, linguistic cups from the Caribbean region. The last fantasy football video was the Spanish Caribbean Cup. Um, the winner of this, just as that video, will qualify for the Caribbean Cup of Champions. Um, there will be a French Caribbean Cup and an Anglo Caribbean Cup after this uh, as well. And in this tournament, we have five participating uh, member associations. Um, because of that, because we have an odd number, I took the two worst teams and put them in a two-legged playoff to determine who would qualify for the main tournament. And the main tournament will include a double round robin with, without any singular host nation. Every team would play each other twice, home and away, to determine the, the, the champion of the Dutch Caribbean Cup. And these are the five teams that are in this tournament. We have Aruba, Curaçao, Bonaire, Suriname, and Sint Martin. Now, all of these teams are members of CONCACAF. I think only a few of them are members of FIFA, which are Aruba and Suriname, I believe. So, let's jump right into it. The, the, the two lowest-ranked teams, by far, by can very considerable margin are uh, St. Martin, which by several estimates might just be the worst team in CONCACAF. Um, and we have Bonaire, who is a another lowly minnow of the CONCACAF region. So get a good look here. Uh, St. Martin versus Bonaire. The winner of this two-legged playoff will qualify for the main tournament. And uh, first leg, I've gone with a, an away victory for Bonaire. Say, let me see, like 2 0. And then at home, I've gone with a 2 to 1 victory again for Bonaire. So Bonaire will qualify for the Dutch Caribbean Cup, the main tournament at least. Bonaire will. Finish in last place. So let's get to the main tournament now. So in the main tournament, we have Suriname versus Aruba. I've gone with the win for Suriname. And Curaçao versus Bonaire, who qualified for the playoffs. A victory for Curaçao. Suriname versus Curaçao. I've gone with a draw. And Bonaire versus Aruba. A victory for Aruba. Aruba versus Curaçao. I've gone with a victory for Aruba. And Bonaire versus Suriname. A victory for Suriname. Suriname versus Bonaire. A victory for Suriname. And Curaçao versus Aruba. A victory for Curaçao. Aruba versus Bonaire. Victory for Aruba and Curaçao versus Suriname, a victory for Curaçao. Bonaire versus Curaçao, a victory for Curaçao. And Aruba versus Suriname, gone with a draw. So where does that leave us? Well, you have a really tight three-way race at the end on points. Bonaire finishes in fourth place from six losses, zero wins, zero draws, and they have zero points. So, like I said, there's a big gap in quality between teams like Bonaire and Saint Martin and Aruba, Suriname, and Curaçao. Um, in third, we have Aruba with 10 points. Not bad. In second is Suriname with 11 points. And the winner of the Dutch Caribbean Cup is Curaçao on 13 points. So Curaçao wins the Dutch Caribbean Cup. 13 points, Suriname in second with 11. Uh, Aruba in third with 10. So the top three teams here only separated by three points. A span of three. Three points, and then in dead last, Bonaire with zero points, and then Saint Martin. I guess if you want to put them in fifth, so 
that is the Dutch Caribbean Cup, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, leave a comment below, like, subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. Until then, have a good one. Much love and peace.